what you doing? <laughs> We just got done with our family, well, our morning scripture study, and Sarah has turned herself into a little turtle. <laughs> uh, sun is starting to come up. Um, I, when I took, that's going to be too dark, come back over here. When I, when I took Emma to school this morning, it was three degrees. Three. So we've got a lot of really pretty hoarfrost out there on the trees. I'm just enjoying me a little bit of crochet time before I get out and get moving. So it looks like she's good on water. Maybe you could use a little bit more food and is very scared. Not a very good picture because it's hard to get her in there. She's doing awesome. I came out and she started making some turkey noises and uh, she seems content. She's not hanging out under the heat lamp. So I may unplug that for the day and turn it on tonight. I think I'll do that. I'll unplug that, we'll put that in tonight. She looks very alert, moving. So that's great. Wednesday, gotta go find my dewormer. I use Molly's herbals as most other homesteaders do. I really like the natural option of that. I need to hit the dollar store and just have some teaspoons live in the bag. And I never remember exactly how much. I think it's a teaspoon per week. Ah, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up later. And if I need to give them more tonight, I will, because I feed them twice a day. Um, so I can do that later too. But um, this whole feed station, Jonah's getting ready to revamp and redo. I'm so excited. It's, you know, it's just really nice to have both of us on board and do what we both can do for the homestead. You know, he works full time because he's amazing. I appreciate his weekends that he kind of helps get some projects done around the house. I'm blessed. All of this is gonna get cleaned up too. The kids did a decent job cleaning up from the turkeys. They could have done a little bit better, but um, one thing at a time. I forgot my gloves. It's too cold not to have gloves, but we're gonna get this cleaned up eventually. That's better. keep flipping and we can't leave both goat waters on at the same time so theirs will be defrosting and Durango has nice warm water. <laughs> I have a friend who has some wool that I want to try and do an insulated water bowl for Durango see if that will work and that would solve the problem so hopefully I can get over to his house soon and get the wool. It's cold. Really helps to have some warm water to dip my fingers into, and then I don't freeze her teeth off when I grab them. When I first got goats, I just used wet wipes, and I didn't love that, the chemicals in the wet wipes. This is just water and Castile soap and a paper towel, and then it just, it keeps us, I just like how warm and nice it is, and it's a good little wash. I absolutely love how fast that works. This is frozen all the way solid. Look how pretty that frost is though. I believe that's called hoar frost. Gorgeous. Nature's beautiful. And stupid. I don't like frozen water. <laughs> but I'm so I'm so excited. That works so fast. Let's see if I can juggle all of these things. Looks like dewormer's a tablespoon. That's what I thought, but I thought, no, I'll go with a teaspoon. <sighs> so that's just dropped half of my tripod. So that's fine. I will just go ahead and do more dewormer tonight. You gotta roll with it, right? There's my tripod. I'll come back for it. <laughs> and I just dropped and stepped on my phone. It looks okay, but man, the struggle is real. <laughs>
pretty close to what I got yesterday. Um, less than what I usually get, but I'll take it. Well, Sam came back in for a coat. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not even that cold So what's there. your plan? You're going out for a homeschool recess. What you gonna do? Spring. And? Explore. Explore. He's gonna enjoy this beautiful day. All right. And Missy's gonna finish her math and then head out too, right? Yeah. That'll be fun. Oh, that's a good trick. Can <laughs> you give me an underdog, Mom? You slide up. Can you give me an underdog? That's awesome, Miss. Sam, I am not prepared to come out and give you. No, I'm trying to get menus made, buddy. I am not ready for outsideness. Beautiful day. I'm trying to get some food menus done. Least favorite project. So menus and food actually really stress me out, like quite a bit. Um, so that's why I'm doing it because it's stressing me out. I it stresses me out even more to not know what I'm going to feed my family by the end of the day. So I'm going to face the stress the greater stress and handle the smaller stress, if that makes sense. But, oh, sometimes you just wanna hide. You can't, so I'm just gonna keep moving, even when I don't want to. Tackle the dinner menu. Now I just have to go grocery shopping. I am so proud of you, Sarah. You're doing, doing my test. You're doing your test? And my butt is so hot. I am so proud of you. You're sitting on the heat mat, so your bum is warm? Mm hmm Having kids prepare their own lunch also means that kids make a huge fat mess. <laughs> but, I don't know, what's the trade-off? You know, cleaning up the mess or making their lunch? Usually make them clean up their own mess. But they're outside playing, and Sarah is volunteering doing her math so you know I'm gonna take clean up cleaning up the mess and running with it one thing I'm really finding to be very very true is how important being organized is organization is like the root of of surviving right so you know, it's just having a home for things, having things Mom, put in their place. Um, just one second and I'll help you. So, when things are chaotic and disorganized, it just, I don't know, it affects me more than I think that it does. So having menus, having things done, um, the garage right now, there are a lot of my things that are very displaced and not where I want them to be. So, you know, on an anxiety-filled day, for me, the best thing to do is just tackle what's stressing you out. Even though tackling it stresses you out. It's just, you know, all in the name of organization. You can't do the 444 because it's not working. Okay, okay. So, you probably have too many spaces in front of the one. So, let's see. One... Four. <laughs> there you go. Good job, sis. 75% so far. You're doing great. Out of you. Sure, you look amazing. We're playing cops and rabbits. Oh. And I'm, um, cops and what? Here. Cops and rubber. Rabbits? Rubber. Oh, okay. Um, did you, did you arrest Sophie? Ah, uh, she looks like she's arrested. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. You don't got it. Come on, Mr. Muscle. Come on. You can do it. Oh, <laughs> there's something's wrong.
checking out the turkey smell. I had a dog once that ate through to the carpet, ate underneath the kennel at the carpet. So, you know, I like to put a blanket. Okay, come on, come on. I know you love your kennel, but move it. So, I, and it's more comfortable. The plastic tray that used to line the bottom broke years ago. This kennel has housed lots of different animals, but she seems to really like it. She seems to enjoy her kennel time, and then she doesn't potty on my floor. There you go, Zoe. Do you love it? Now we can take off your harness. Come here. Good girl. Come here. You just want to stay in there? Okay. Okay. You love right. your new ish home. There you go. <laughs> Good girl. Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Yeah. She's sure loving her salt lamp. And you know, even if they are hokey and they don't really work, they're pretty. On. It's time for Emma to walk in the door almost any minute, but it feels really good. I have some dinner going in the instant pot. It's actually, oh, I love when you hit that zoom in button. Anyway, so it's actually just in the crock pot section of it. It's a rabbit. Um, my favorite way to prepare rabbit is pressure cooked. So it was frozen, so I'm letting it kind of slow cook and then I'll turn on the pressure cooker here in a few minutes. And then we'll, I'm gonna have to make rice, rice on the stove top. And um, Emma just pulled in. I've never cooked rice on the stove top, I think one time. And so I've always cooked it in a rice cooker or the Instant Pot. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to have to attempt rice on the stove top because I don't have another pressure rice cooker or a rice cooker. <laughs> First world problems. Bring to a boil. This is killing me that I can't open the rice. Like I could open the rice, but I, I know that ruins it. So I have six minutes left on the timer and then you're supposed to I guess let it sit off of the heat for 10 minutes. I can't handle this. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. <gasps> That's so pretty. Yes, I burned that on my stove. Let's see. I think that looks pretty decent. It's got butter in it, so I'm gonna have to have a kid test it. Guinea pig number one. Guinea pig? Yes. Why am I a guinea pig? You're tasting it for me, you're my guinea pig. I don't know why that's a phrase. It's hot. It's good. Is it crunchy? Mm -hmm. I did a good job? Mm -hmm. I made rice on the stove, guys. Yes, I'm a ninja. Ninja. you not leave. <laughs> she says, I want some. So that is some beautiful rabbit meat, some yummy sauce. I think I'm gonna thicken that up for like a gravy. We're gonna get some carrots going with the rice. I am excited. Maybe we'll all sit down as a family. It's been quite a long time. We always sit down, but it's been a long time since I've had like a nice meal cooked. It's only 5.30 in the evening. Jonah just got home. So it's just, it's good, it's good. And Emma doesn't have play practice. So I'm gonna relish this night with my family and have a nice meal together. How's the rice, Em? It's good. This tastes like Chinese. What does? The gravy. Oh, it tastes like Chinese? Is that good or a bad thing? Yeah. It tastes a little bit like Chinese food. What does? Well, is it good or bad? I don't know. The, the rice? It's okay. This that was no, like cooked gravy. the rabbit. I don't know where you get, it doesn't smell like Chinese. So there's something in this that you don't like. 
I wonder what. One of the spices that I would prefer is either rosemary or sage or. I use. No one likes rosemary. We don't, we don't use rosemary. It's no, very I don't. fragrant. Like one of the fragrant ones. Maybe it's, it's thyme. I use thyme. Is it thyme? Yeah. I like thyme. It's really powerful. I did thyme and garlic and salt and pepper and honey and apple cider vinegar. Of course, there's salt in it. Everybody's watching on the, on the channel and they're gonna be sad if you don't eat it. And they're gonna think that I'm trying to poison you instead of feeding you a bite of rice. Come on, open up. Open, it's dripping, hurry. Come on, Sarah. Thank you. Wow, that Good was a Good job. Big mm. I used to do that all the time. Well, Sam, was the, now that you have your mouth full, <laughs> was the rabbit good? Sarah, how's the rice? <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious! She hates rice. Where'd you get pink hair? Uh, she asked yeah, she a, had a wig on earlier. <laughs> thanks for cooking. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. Yeah. <clears throat> nice shot. You hit it? Yeah. Look at Sam's target. He taped a Altoid can to the bottom of our fan. <laughs> you turd butt. <laughs> Pretty good idea though. <laughs> okay, shoot again. Oh, that was way low. Uh, an audience there. I know, and you don't see this one over here. Who? Sophie? So, yes. <laughs> it's like the piranhas. <laughs> Sarah's watching. She's and Sarah's still trying to decide if she's going to eat for dinner. Sarah, you better get eaten, sweetie. You're not leaving until you're done. She just has a few carrots left. It'll be a long night. <laughs> All right, Emma, say goodbye for us. We would like to thank you for joining us today on our crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Make sure to give us that thumbs up on your way out, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Wow. I didn't put shoes on, so I can't go show you the full extent. Maybe I will. I'm just going to sacrifice my socks. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Stunning, stunning night.